proper, complete examination of the knee includes a visual inspection as well as a test of the ligaments of the knee. First, with visual inspection, you look at the knee looking for any kind of uh, obvious deformity, dislocation, uh, patellar displacement, swelling, a sag sign, which means the tibia is posterior with relation to the femur, might indicate a posterior collateral ligament compromise. Um, of course, any swellings or effusions can be noted also with uh, visual inspection. Next, uh, proper palpation is important. Generally, bringing the knee up to this position, placing the fingers posteriorly, and with the thumbs starting superiorly at the femur, coming down over the patella, palpating the bony prominences of the knee, and then moving lateral. Jason, did you have any pain with that? No. Okay. Next, uh, ligamentous strain is placed on the knee to assess for any kind of discomfort. I'm going to be putting different pressures on your knee. You let me know if you have any pain with these. Okay? okay. First, varus stress is placed on the knee. Uh, my hand is placed posteriorly here in the knee and one hand on the lateral aspect of the ankle. I'm testing now the lateral collateral ligament. With this, I place varus stress at the knee with this hand while with the ankle hand, I am bringing it inwards. Do you have any discomfort with this? No. All right, that is the test for the lateral collateral ligament. Medial collateral ligament is tested in a similar manner, just opposite force is placed. Do you have any pain with this, Jason? No. Again, valgus stress is placed on the knee here with the ankle coming out laterally. Next, the Lachman's test is performed. This can help assess anterior cruciate ligament stability. The knee is flexed up. The operator's hand is placed superiorly here on the femur and one inferiorly here on the tibia and fibula. The knee is relaxed. If you can just relax there, Jason, I'm going to just pull on your knee a little bit. You let me know if you have any discomfort, okay? Okay. And I place stresses anteriorly and posteriorly in the knee to see if there is any laxity in the joint. Okay. The posterior ligament, cruciate ligament and anterior cruciate ligament are best assessed this way. The McMurray's test is done with this limb by flexing the knee. I'm just going to flex your knee up and I'm going to jiggle it around a little bit. You let me know if you have any discomfort with this test. This assesses meniscal uh, anatomy. By rotating and swiveling the heel of the foot and putting pressure at the knee, the meniscus can be assessed. The McMurray's test is done with one hand here, one hand at the knee, and the swivel motion, flexing and extension, keeping the heel of the ankle either laterally or medially and brought down. If the patient has any discomfort with this, this is a positive McMurray's test. All right, the patella can also be assessed for tracking. If you could just relax your muscles here, the patella is moved back and forth over the top of the femur. If there's no pain with this, this is a good sign that, that the patella is in the proper location. Also, for patellar compromise or pain or fracture, the patient is asked to flex the quadriceps, if you could just flex your quadriceps here, and pressure is placed on the patella. Discomfort with this may, might, might indicate a patellar injury. Effusions can also be assessed with palpation by feeling laterally and blotting laterally and feeling a wave medially. This can also be done medial to lateral. Effusions are fluids that have built up in the knee joint and can cause severe pain.